guys. Cindy out here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing? I'm doing good. All right, it is time for pick 10. Let's see what we're going to do. Um, I've already got this set up. This one over here is last month's. So let's see what we have for December. Let me grab my, I forgot my pick 10 sticks. Here they are. You ready? Let's just do one at a time. Here's one. Oh, no, let's bring them all out. Here's one. First one. Use colored pencils. Okay. I actually have some colored pencils right here. And what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to use them a little bit differently. I'm just going to take three pencils. Is it going to work? I want to do them together. The neon is not coming out. That's okay. All we're doing is making marks. It's no big deal. I want this neon in here a little bit more. And this blue. Well, that was quick and easy, huh? Isn't it great when I can just scribble? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scribbling is fun. That was number one. Number two is... Can you just grab that? Number two is... Use watercolor paints. I can do that. Oh, the watercolors sit here on my table. This is a set of Van Gogh that my dear friend gave to me that I stuck in this tin. I found this tin um, at a yard, at a antique shop. And this is the Van Gogh. Oops, and I just stuck my finger. Apparently they're not dry. As you can tell, I've used them enough. So, they are not dry. Actually, since we just did that, let's re-wet that just a touch. And let's use some watercolors. So, we'll just grab a little bit of water here. You know what I'm going to do? So I just want to wet. I'll just do a couple spots. Just take a little bit of that color. And then what we're going to do is we're going to spray it and let it do its thing. Ready? I don't know if you guys can see that it's spring. All right, I'm going to dry that up just because I want to leave it just the way it is. So let's dry it up and I'll be right back. All right, so I got that dried out. Number three is, which one shall we pick? How about this one? Use white tissue paper. Hmm. White tissue paper. Let me see if I have Hold on, guys. You know what? I have white tissue paper, but I've got deli paper. So you know what? We are going to um, we're going to substitute just because I honestly don't know where my white tissue paper is at this moment. So we're going to use deli paper. So, move these out of the way again. They keep getting in my way. Use white tissue paper. Where's my glue? Here's my glue. My glue, glue, glue. And let's put this down. Why not? These are so fun to play with. I love doing these. <laughs> Just because I get to play and I never know what it's going to turn out looking like. I have no idea. 
So we're just going to put some deli paper down. This is our, we're pretending this is our white tissue paper, right? It's got some kind of a leftover paint on it, I'd say. Not sure what from what, but make sure we get it down nice and good. I don't know what this thing is here. Let's put a piece right here. That looks good, doesn't it? Nice straight line. And we'll take our last piece. And we'll put that right here. What the heck? I don't know. I'm kind of leaving this open because I don't know. We're only on number three. Who knows what's next, right? All right. So there's our white tissue paper. Whoops. Come on. Get back on there. I know you can stay there. All right, let's see what number four is before I, um, whoops, I almost put that in my coffee. Let's see what number four is. Get this out of the way. All right, number four is this one. I use a handmade stamp. Okay, that I can do. I just got to figure out where they are. I'll be right back. All right, so I found a couple of my handmade stamps. This is one of those big erasers that said big mistakes, and I just had cut a flower out of it. This is just a little piece of, I don't know, eraser. And here's another one, okay? If you've never done this, um, definitely. It's fun to make your own stamps because they're just plain unique, very, very unique. Now, instead of using um, ink, which is what I normally would do, I'm gonna use black gesso because I have some over here on my palette. So basically what I'm doing is putting the black gesso on my brayer and then putting it on my stamp. So just make sure I try to get all of it. And then we're just gonna do a little stamp right here. Do, 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 do. Just wanna make sure everything touches. Ha <laughs> ha, so cute. <laughs> Little things make me happy. Little things like a flower. Now I am going to take this one and let's see. I just want the flower part of it. So let's just put the flower part of it on. Okay. And then see, I still have the gesso part. I'm actually going to continue that stem. I'll do that in the black gesso. But I want another one to go kind of like right here. All right. Oh, I'm going to sit back in my chair. Ouch. All right, let's take, I still have my black gesso here. So I just want to bring this down. doesn't have to be perfect, right? Nope, because our stamps aren't perfect. We're not perfect. Even though some people out there like to think they're perfect, nobody is perfect. So I just like them. I like them the way they are. So now I'm actually going to take some more of that black gesso. I don't have a whole lot left, but we're going to use some here. We're just going to make Let's put it here. Okay. I'm not going to use that one. All right. So, we've got our homemade stamps. I got to dry this, but let's see what's next. Throw this in the water. Hopefully it doesn't say no black. That one we're going to toss that aside. All right, this says stamp over a stencil. Okay, we can do that. So let's take stamp over a stencil. I'm going to use this one. And what color? Let me grab my colored inks because I don't really want to stamp in black. So let me grab my colored inks. I'll be right back. All right, so here's what I did. Oops, I got two of these. Huh. Must be I had two 
They're exactly the same, so they must have stuck together. Okay, um, I'm going to use this stamp. This is a stamp from a paint chip card, which you guys have seen me do that before. This is archival ink in the color of sunflower, so that's what I'm going to use. And this is the stamp I'm going to use through that stencil. So, see? So I'm going to put my stencil down here, and then I'm just going to stamp. Isn't that cool? It just, it gives it, it doesn't allow the whole edges and stuff to be seen. It just kind of gives you that inside look of a stamp. All right, so there's three. I want to do, I want to do another color. Let's see. I've got purple, blue, green, let me see. Red. Let's do this blue. No, let's do a darker blue. This is some this is an art supply that I can tell you I'll never buy again because I very rarely use them. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna ink it up, and then I'm just going to put it through my stencil. There we go. I like it. It's different. It's different. Okay. There we go. We stamped over a stencil. What's next? Um, do, 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 do. This one. Yeah. A silhouette. You know what? We're going to make these flowers into silhouettes. You know how we're going to do that? Very easily. We're going to take a Sharpie. And this is going to be our silhouette. Right? So we're making our silhouette, which is all good. Gotta love these king size Sharpies. They're so cool. This. I'm hoping I can doodle on these so I can bring them back out with a like a white pen. All right, so we made our flowers into a silhouette. What's next? That's one, two, three, four, five, six. We have four more. One, here we go. Let's take you. Rub-ons, we can do that. All right, let me get some of this other stuff off my desk and I'll be right back. All right, so we're back to do rub-ons. Now, um, I've had some people ask me, you know, where I get my rub-ons from and I'll be honest with you, these, this is, was on clearance. This is a Kathy Davis. This was on clearance, I don't know where, somewhere for $1.97. So I'm guessing either a Joann's or a Michael's. Um, these two for a dollar, these I got at a dollar store a long time ago. Um, Creative Imaginations Impressions. And these, these I also got at a dollar store. And actually, um, I think in the packet there was a whole bunch of them. And all they are is letters. So a lot of times I'll just take something like this. I'll actually do it on this. Why not? I don't know where my other set is. So um, I got a whole pack of these for like a dollar, and there was like maybe ten of them in it. I think something like that. This was a long time ago, mind you. You're not going to go to your dollar store and find them now. They just—they're not going to be there. So, um, so what I'll do? I just cut them in half. Let me get actual pair of scissors. I'll just cut them in half. So 
sometimes in quarters, which just makes them more eat, uh, manageable. That's all. I'm not doing it for any special trick or reason. I just, uh, they're more manageable that way to me. All right, so then I'll just take one of them. And honestly, I don't ever use the popsicle sticks that's with them. You don't have to, or you can. It's up to you. I use my bone thingy. <laughs> <laughs> my own folder, I guess is what they call it. And then I just, I'll just put on, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to look perfect. That's not what the rub-ons I use them for. I just use them to add interest to the background. Um, not in any special place or form. I just play. Play, play, play. And see, sometimes like that right there, that didn't come off. So I'll just go back, do it again. Got a little bit. It's all good. Let's put a little bit more right here. Sometimes with these you have to be a little bit um, heavier handed. And see, there you go. There's our rub-ons that we used. Alright, so that's those. Now these, because I just bought, got out another pack, I'll hang on to them. These will go back in the rub-on folder. Alright, so we did our rub-ons. How many does that make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have three more. Let's see what we got. See what other supplies I gotta grab. String or twine. Okay, well we'll do that one. Let me put these over here where I can get to them. And that I have to get out, so I'll be back. Okay, so we got string and twine. Now this is a um, a gum case. My girlfriend um, chews a lot of gum, and this is a gum case that she brought to me. And what I do is anytime I do any sewing or um, taking fabric apart, I stick the string. Actually, there's a piece of uh, edging. Um, I take the string and I stick it in this little box. So what I am going to do now is I'm actually going to take this string and... I want to make, I want to do just a middle of the flower here. See if I can get it small enough. Yeah, I can. All right, so I am just going to make a small, I'm going to do this with tacky glue because I want it to be able to stick. I'm just going to take, it's even upside down. This tacky glue drives me crazy. I love the glue, don't get me wrong. I hate the container it's in. Alright, I'm going to do there, I'm going to do there, and I'm going to do there. So I just want to put a small piece of string. in the middle of my flowers. I know you get, well, you guys that do the mixed media artists get it. Some people that don't do mixed media art, they're like, what? Why are you saving all those strings? Yeah, because they come in handy. <laughs> they're great for any type of a texture. Um, let's see, that one's not as round as I wanted it, but if we can get it straightened out. There we go. Um, they're really great for a texture. They're really great for um, just adding on like ATCs or um, um, anything. Cards, you name it. So, yeah, I keep that. And the bonus is they smell really good. <laughs> they smell like um, spear spearmint or peppermint. I'm not sure which one she... she choose but there you go so there is my string and twine string slash twine and let's do another one two three four five six seven eight we have two more so let's see here's one ribbon why do i always pull ribbon I swear to god two let's do ribbon first then we'll figure out what our next one is so ribbon this time what i'm gonna do let me see i have Just says ribbon, huh? I was wondering if I had any um, 
handmade embellishments done with ribbon. I don't think I do right now. This is a drawer full of, um, <coughs> pardon me, handmade embellishments. Like my houses, that kind of stuff. My trees. Um, all kinds of stuff in here. But I don't have what I'm looking for. So we're going to have to get out some ribbon. Sorry, guys. I'll be back. Okay, so I actually got out this drawer. Um, I was talking with a friend of mine the other day about not using this stuff. And it's got all kinds of different ribbons in it. Um, these are um, glitter. Some of them's like a glitter washi. I don't know. They consider it a glitter ribbon. So um, I pulled this one out. This one I think I got at Target maybe. I'm not sure. And I kind of like the colors. So I'm just going to play around and get some of this ribbon put down. This is my number 10. I'll put that over there. Um, here's ribbon. So let's play. Let's see what we can do here. Just want to put some ribbon down. And it's the same on both sides. So We're just going to play. I don't know what this thing is here. It looks like a little chair to me, so we're going to make it a little chair. Do, 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 do. Just kind of following what I have here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I never claimed to know what I was doing. Pellet show stove shut off. It's quiet in here. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna leave that. Okay, so we got a little piece of ribbon on there. Let me see. Is there more ribbon I want to use? You know, yeah. I think I want to take this. This is kind of like a. Do I want to use that? Let's use it up top. This is a st sticky ribbon, I guess. Which one call it? Fabric ribbon? I don't know. It's ribbon. Close enough. Um, let's put this up top. Take off the sticky. Just kind of makes it... Let's do it right about... Oh, put it back up there. Good, 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 good. All right, there's our ribbon. What's next? Uh, glitter. All right, let's put our glitter ribbon back. Glitter, huh? Okay, so glitter, glitter, glitter. I have glitter glue right here. So let's use some glitter glue. Um. Hopefully it'll not be all icky. It's been a long time since I've used a lot of these glitters. Okay. So we're just going to use glitter. Glitter glue. Awful quiet in here. My glitter glue got stopped up. Come on, glitter glue. I need to make a little bit bigger hole. Hopefully that'll do it. Come on. I don't think this glitter glue is happy. It's like it doesn't want to come out. 
make a little bit bigger hole. There we go. Oh! <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> we got a glitter glue glob. <laughs> Stick that over here for right now. Glitter glue, glitter glue glob. Oh well, it's all good. I guess we know it comes out now. Right? Glitter glue. I'll have to remember that when I use that again. Alright, let me get this off my here. Okay. Alright, we're not done with glitter yet. I want some more glitter on here. So, let's see what else. Um, I do have a green. I ended up getting rid of a whole bunch of glitter glue stuff because um, I just never used it. So I couldn't see keeping it around. Just gonna kind of play with these a little bit. So there's our flowers. Let's see. Just throw a little bit of sparkle here. Hang on. Some of these are, um, like this one is called Beads in a Bottle. I don't use it like that. I just use it as glitter glue. Imagine I could use it as beads, but I'm not going to. I just want to put a little glitter here. There's a little bug. Bug! In the winter time? Come on, bug. Go away. Just want that. Now, let's see. What else can we do? Um, copper? No. Clear. And do little dots it says I can do. This is that beads in a bottle. Okay. All right, guys, I think we're done. We are done. Done, done, done. That's not cool. It's just so different. You know, it's you never know where it's going to end up and you end up using some stuff that I do that I normally don't use so just bring you in a little bit just to show you all right so there you go pick 10 Woohoo! we're good all right I hope you guys have enjoyed this as always like comment share subscribe give me a thumbs up have fun that's what life's all about happy creating we'll talk to you soon bye